Before 1790, the only legitimate federal taxes were tariffs or import duties. Alexander Hamilton introduced the first excise taxes to be placed on the manufacture, sale, or consumption of certain commodities. The so-called whiskey tax had to be paid on grain as it was delivered to the distillery. It was especially unpopular with cash-strapped farmers. In the summer of 1794, several thousand angry grain farmers in western Pennsylvania marched in protest of the tax. They caused a ruckus, they complained, they had a little marching up and down. Well, Hamilton saw this as an opportunity to prove that the federal government could keep law and order. Hamilton encouraged Washington to put on his old military uniform and ride out to Pittsburgh to quell the rebellion. Washington took this very seriously, and the army he sent to deal with the Whiskey Rebellion was five times the size of the army that he led across the Delaware during the Revolutionary War. For him, it was a question of who best understood the revolution. The rebels thought they did. Now, the revolution was about taxes. Well, this is an unjust tax. This is a tax we don't like. And as we did with the tea tax and the stamp tax and all the rest of it, we're just not going to pay it. Washington's view was, no, the revolution is about law and who makes the laws and how are the laws legitimate. This tax wasn't passed in London. This was passed by Congress. You have representatives in Congress. You know, you voted for them, they voted on this law, well, they lost. Maybe next time they'll win. But so long as we have passed this and it is on the books, we have to obey it.